Shut your mouth. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Episode 101. Damn. Podcast 101. Let's show you how it's done, baby. Came in late. It's all right. It's all good. Yeah, I like that, man. Podcast 101. We show you how it's done. Yeah. Wine dined in 69, baby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I get no action. By the numbers. This is from Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. The show neither by Shrooms nor by Skyrim. Those are just the motherfucking parameters. And I'm your host, Matthew, the Bob Bambino, the Bake Man, Cake Man. We got Carlos Morales. The toothbrush assassin, little feet dirty sack, shing, a.k.a. Shing, shing, shing. Frank Blunt, the only person capable of filling the Hiram size hole on the couch and in my heart. And butt. <laughs> <laughs> and this episode is brought to you by Sandbar, Coconut Grove, home of the motherfucking fish, Taco, 3064 Grand Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133. Taco Tuesdays, Whiskey Wednesdays, Wednesdays Trivia Wednesdays. Night Thursdays. And karaoke Fridays, but uh, but ladies' night Thursday is coming back. Although for trivia, they do now have the so, so they have Taco Tuesdays on Tuesdays, and they're gonna have taco kind of like it's kind of like the same thing. It's like Taco Tuesdays and Taco Thursdays. If it's ladies' night, you know what I'm saying? Run around the block, baby. <laughs> <laughs> There's tacos all day on deck. And this episode is also brought to you by The Last Carrot at 3133 Grand Avenue, De- Miami, Florida, 33133. They're open Monday through Saturday, 1030 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 430 p.m. Family owned, fresh, wholesome, eat since 1975. The Last Carrot, goddamn historical landmark. Episode 101, we show you how it's done. Breaking new territory. And... um. Man, sp- speaking of our sponsor, really need a we really need uh, about two more sponsors, man, to to make this a uh, sustainable uh, endeavor for another hundred episodes. Is Pleasure Emporium still open? That'd be a cool sponsor. What the hell Once is again asking for your financial support? What yeah. what the hell is ple- Pleasure? Emporium? Yeah, it was like off. It was, uh, it's like on Lejeune when you're driving along the highway. Let's say like you get off 836 and you want to go to the 112 and you you know you get off Lejeune. And you go over the train tracks and you're running by the, the aviation school and everything. Whatever. Yo, this this sounds like you've um you 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 were calling this route from memory. It sounds like you've been to the Pleasure Emporium many times. I mean, I drive through there all the time. Every a lot of people do. Like when you go to the when you're getting off the 112 heading west and you're going to go to the airport, you're always going to go through there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh I order I don't order I don't order my wife orders shit like that online. We don't go to any store. Well, that's like I would totally get a boner in that store. <laughs> I'd be just thinking about it. <laughs> I'd be like, "Oh, that's sorry. That's I have a sickness." <laughs> I took a I took a Cialis by accident. Uh, nah, like sometimes, like I kind of know, but I don't always really know. Cause, bro, like I I be on I take so many back streets. Like I avoid in Miami. Like uh, that's why it takes you forever to get everywhere. <laughs> you think you're being fucking like slick and shit, <laughs> and you're just delaying. You're like, I spend hours in traffic. I'm like, what are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> You're like, I have to go to Aventura Mall first before I could come down to downtown. It's the back road. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Yo, I just be avoiding like main streets and highways <laughs> as much as possible. Those are the most, the reason why they're busy is because they're still faster than taking Alligator Alley to Key West, <laughs> which isn't a thing. I 
That's how you get to Naples. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. It's true. Though. I mean, man, you know, the really bad ones to stay away from are like the the Palmetto. I right, but for forget about yeah, the Palmetto is the one I always. That's hear a shithole. And for some reason, the people on the Palmetto are different from. A, it's like who? How? <laughs> it's like a magnet for fucking morons. And of course, I'm on it too, so I'm the, I'm a moron as well. <laughs> I don't, I'm just you know, that doesn't sound like a dick or anything. We're all dumb. Um, but timetable aside, I get really good gas mileage. Yeah, because you don't drive that fucking boat anymore. Anything has better gas mileage than that. What boat? The Crown Vic. No, the Crown Vic was like um eight years ago. Yeah, so how long you been driving what you're driving now? I don't want I don't want to dax 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 dicks. I don't want to dicks you. <laughs> I don't want to dicks you. No, I got I I actually got my car um two days before like the shutdown for the pandemic took full effect. Oh, so that's new. That's relatively new. What were you driving before that? Uh, I had a the like one? a 06 Benz. Which one? The fucking lo- it was a fucking boat. Yeah, it, it was, was like a seven fifty. Yo, but that thing slid, man. Yeah, it yeah, drove yeah. so good. Yeah. I'm, I miss it. But I had um, I I got rid of it because the only the only issue was there's something wrong with the aeromatic, which is what they call it. It's like they have like an airbag it's suspension a suspe- yeah, system. It's a suspe- yeah. So it's like I basically came out the house one day, and the car was just sitting on the ground. Sitting on the tires. Wow. And then that happened like twice. And then it would have been like a few thou, I think, to like fully fix it. Instead of just like doing temporary fix back to back. And then I ended up trading it in for uh, Kia Sportage, which I highly regret. Uh, fuck Kia and, and fuck uh, Miami Lakes Auto Mall, man. Hey, but, but the gas mileage. Yeah, the car, like, like the car's eye, right, like, is perfectly, um, <laughs> it drives. <laughs> yeah, like, it fucking drives. But it's the first year, so first of all, like, I, I traded in the car, the Benz. Um, I don't, I don't know if I got, like, a good deal. Like, I did the, what's that place, CarMax or whatever the fuck, um, that you go on, like, they'll give you a quote, they'll take, take your car for this much. Buy at the brand smart way. Oh no, that's the wrong place. Sorry, but yeah. Anyways, they honored whatever fucking like quote I had, which was a thousand bucks, and for the car. Yeah, for the Benz. Cause it was fucked. No, it was, but it was a 06. So I, I don't know. I don't think it was like a good. But here's the thing: I got the car for seven hundred fifty bucks from a friend. That, uh, he like he's into that whole like you know get a car at the auctions, flip it, whatever. Mm-hmm. And, like, me and him go back. Like, he, he's the one that put me onto the security game, the nightlife game. Yo, shout we, out like, to that guy. Like, we go way back. Shout out to that guy. Um, Yeah, that's, like, a whole other story. Uh, I love that guy. He's, like, my fucking brother. Um, But, yeah, so I traded a car for a 1000 bucks, And then, you know, I did what, you know, like, Dave Rams, everyone says you're not supposed to do, which is, like, I took on. Like, I went from, like, owning, like, I don't know if this was, it probably wasn't, I did. I definitely didn't make the smartest possible move. It might not have been, like, the worst move, but I went from, like, owning the a car outright to, okay, and, like, now I'm going to take on, like, $20,000 of debt, more or less. It, it was, like, $17,000. <laughs> you're you know, upside, so. You know, you know, like, I put a little money down. <coughs> so you're upside down on what the car is actually worth and what you're paying for it. Well... I'm sure. Well, the, well, with the way the car market is right now, it's actually like retained its value more yeah. or less. Yeah. And I'm like over halfway done. You know, I've been on time with the payment. But the thing is, I get this car. This is so. This is early 2020, right? So first of all, I trade him for the car, and then three days later, it's like I'm out of a job because the pandemic, and now I have a fucking car payment. So it was like, man, you know, it was, it was fantastic. Yeah. And so now like six months in. And so the car is a is a 2018. It was certified pre-owned. And um, 
And this is fucking 2020, so this is like a relatively new car. Check engine like so like first of all it was like it was like little random shit like okay like I replaced the battery. And it was like it was just fucking annoying because it's like bro like I just got this car and now the battery's done. It's because the car was just leased and they just finished the lease, you know. Yo, now but sell it. Something strange. Well, I, I'll circle back to that. Anyways, Ugh. I was having to go back to this place, Miami Lakes, uh, Kia. After like six months, I was like. The engine was like doing this thing and had to go back. And they told me, oh, the spark plugs. And so I was pissed. But it's like, what, what am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm up here fucking Miami Lakes. Like, okay, let's do the spark plugs. And then I'm like, oh, you know, it's just the one spark plug, but we should probably do it. Like, whatever. It ended up being like fucking 300 something bucks with all the fucking parts and labor for this goddamn motherfucking spark plugs. Right? Because they're like, oh, yeah, because, you know, this is a wear and tear part, so it's not under the warranty. Fucking, like, three weeks later, the car is doing the exact same shit. The chunk engine lights back on. So I go back over there, and I'm going through it with these people. And they're like, oh, now it's this and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, bro, like I just replaced the spark plugs. And I'm like, who 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 looked at the car? And I'm like, bro, this guy, this guy Lewis is on the and like, oh, we fired him. I'm like, oh, you fired him for what? So like basically, this motherfucker, he waxed me. He got so I ended up leaving my car with them. It, Cause it was one thing after another. I had to make like it was like four trips up there. And after the spark plugs, I wasn't paying for nothing. But it was still fucking costing me fucking like it was a fucking hell of time to deal with this. I got to go up there. I got fucking bitch at people. And then I had to fucking bitch at them to give me. Yo, one thing that like my mom and my aunt made sure I did when I got the car is I got it in writing from the GM. And the GM of the of like the sales side of Kia, he was cool. But John, I got it in writing from him that. If the car needed to be serviced for more than a day, they will provide a loaner at no cost. Which ended up being crucial. Cause bro, like, like these mother like these motherfuckers were trying to like not provide me with any type of transportation. Yeah. And I was like, nah, bro. I'm like, I'm gonna stay here in y'all fucking face until So here's the thing. After the spark plugs and after all this fucking shit, I come to find out. So this guy, Ricardo who's like the lead tech or whatever, he kind of, he's been hinting at things like along the way. Like after I finally met him, after dealing with Lewis, he's been hinting at things. Come to find out that, and no no one told me this. I had to find this shit out on my own. And this was occurring even before I got the car. There was a big ass recall on the Kia engines and the Sportage and maybe in something else from between like it's between like 2014 and 2000 whatever you know what i'm saying uh-huh. that and i was reading articles like this lady in canada was driving she had a kids in the car on the highway just driving boom engine caught on fire almost killed everybody you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and this was happening all over the place so there's a there's a mechanical fault with the engine right so they they fixed that with software they didn't actually fix the problem they just put a software patch oh yeah that's when the car when the computer in the car detects that this is happening then it's gonna like kind of freeze things up check engine light comes on freeze things up right that's what was happening with my car when every time the check engine light came on and the engine was acting funny that's because the software patch was going into effect because the engine was on his way to combust. Yeah. So first of all, Kia Kia fixed a mechanical problem with a software patch, right? Mm-hmm. So I ended up leaving my car there. They had my shit for like after I finally left it with them and they're like, okay, this car needs a new engine. A whole new fucking engine. And then something overseas, whatever. Yo, they had my shit for fucking like six months. 
Oh my god! And then so they gave me a loaner, right? Which so I got like a a base model, like twenty twenty whatever Kia Sportage. I'm driving it, and then these people communication was so inefficient that you know I had to be on them, and eventually I found out that oh every month I need to bring the loaner back and get a new loaner. So then they was trying to charge me for some shit that they didn't even tell me about in the first place, and they was bitching at me. Like, like I, like I took their car for too long. I'm like, bro, y'all got my fucking car. Y'all the ones not telling me anything. And now this motherfucker is being like, you know, I'm talking to someone else. Now this motherfucker being rude to me on the phone about some information that, you know, that's on y'all to provide to me. Like, bro, my, like Miami Lakes Auto Mall, Miami Lakes Kia, like. Yo, fuck you guys. You know, it, it's overdue. I put them on blast. And, um. Yeah, bro, like, they, and then, after all this, and, like, I had the specifics, like, more fresh in my mind, like, when this was happening, but after all this shit, because Hiram, I would tell, like, Hiram, like, play by play what was going on, Hiram just told me two weeks ago that he just got a new Kia, <laughs> and I'm like, bro, do not listen to anything <laughs> I fucking tell you. Yeah, but maybe the, maybe the new one, it's a different thing, you know, another, another, it's another dealership, nicer people. I mean, though, like it's so, it was just so frustrating, man. I'm sorry, but but the yo, what's happening? Nothing. I burped. No, you don't hear that. You don't hear the echo. Oh yeah, is that you? How about now? Um, no, it's gone. What was that? You heard it that loud? Yeah, it was, it caught me by surprise. I like catching you by surprise. Oh yeah, but yeah, man, man. I've been ho- I've been holding on to that one for a minute, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? Is anybody I, I, out there? Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Yo, that was cool as fuck. Yeah. But yeah, man, bro, you you know me, bro. Anytime that I have, you know, I, I'll take whatever time is necessary to fucking bash people that have rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, you get I'll, you, I'll fucking you take seem the time. frustrated right now. Well, from then. You seem traumatized. Yeah, I, I'm traumatized. If I if I wasn't such a big procrastinator, one, and if I didn't have fucking like eighty other things that to do, like I would plus the fucking the way the car market is right now, like I just don't feel like going through the thing of buying a new car. But um, no, so I'm actually overdue right now for a little oil change, right? Mm-hmm. Since I got the new engine, and um, the thing is they. The, the service manager for Kia, he assured me that they would credit me the money they charged me for the spark plugs, right? Mm-hmm. Which they he wouldn't reimburse me, but he said he would credit me. So I've been kind of putting it off just because, like, it's now that I moved even, like, farther away, it's kind of a hell of a drive. Because there's a Kia dealership closer to me that my boy is friends with someone over there. But I got to go back to Miami Lakes. He might be I, a bad person, though. Because his friend that works at Kia, you know, it's Kia. So. No, but. They, it, don't, they don't hire good people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys rock. But it's like I got to go back there because I want to use that credit that they assured me they would give me and that they owe me for the spark plugs. Did you get that, that in writing? That fucking Lewis waxed me on. Did you get that in writing? No, I didn't. Which is like, uh, so like you know, like it's, it's it's a little bit concerning. It's a small source of anxiety in the back of my head, because bro, this motherfucker Lewis Mother- waxed me for like three hundred sixty dollars for some goddamn motherfucking spark plugs on an engine that they ended up taking the whole fucking engine out the car. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the guy, Ricardo, he told me, you know, in so many words that it was this kind of behavior that they fired Buddy for. And even before he said, he said, bro, he said, no one would look at this car and what the problem was and look at the engine and the deuce was the spark plugs. I'm like, that's funny you said that. Because the mechanic, when I was here last time, the deuce was the fucking spark plugs. So what are we talking about right now? Yeah. So every time, like, bro, I know they were sick of me too, but fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Every time I would go over there, I would be fucking, like, angry. And rightfully so. Yeah, no, for sure. You're such a nice guy, though. That's like, bro, like, you, you've, you've seen me, like, you know, uh, like, prior to, like, a potential, like, not even, like, a confrontation, but just before uh, even contact with someone. That that's like I'm I'm either on one side of the threshold. Like I'm I'm not I'm never I'm like I'm almost never trying to uh initiate uh confrontation. Confrontation. But once we get to the other side of the threshold, I'm one hundred percent about that life. And bro, I, I could be fucking I can be fucking mean, I can be fucking petty, and have no qualms about it. And I always I always keep fucking receipts too. That's like, oh, like this happened this way, okay? And then, like, this person I did this, and that's why I did that. I wouldn't have done that this person did this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, and I, I like to do that, too, because when I tell other people, it's like, okay, like, this is how it played out. You know? Tell me if I'm wrong. And I mean that sincerely. But, um, <laughs> with, with like, with all that being said, I feel like, I feel like it's, it's a good time for some guided meditation Do now. you feel better now? I feel exactly the same. Let's see what I got for today. Let me see. How's this one? Is that a vibe? It's a vibe. From shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram, we'd like to take you on a voyage of meditation. This is a time of inward reflection. Looking in, deep breathe in, breathe out. Let's remember what we're thankful for. Bumper to bumper traffic in 826 Palmetto Expressway. Now, in, out. We now look to our left and see the Lehman, <laughs> Lehman <laughs> Hyundai dealership. We immediately know this place is full of assholes and they should probably kill themselves. <laughs> to breathe deep in. <laughs> to breathe deep out. I think of my wife making a weird noise with her fucking nose when I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> and I just want to jam a fucking hanger up it. Breathe in. <laughs> Breathe out. <laughs> wow, what a funky guitar thing. Sounds great. Is there anything you'd like to add, Matthew? Yo, like, it almost feels like a fucking, like, mandolin or something. Oh, there's some more there. I think of a confrontation between two men at a store. I'm not going to say where these men are from, but <laughs> I'm going to act it out, and you you guess where it is. Like charades? Hey man, I'm just trying to get my thing trying to get oh, I don't know you fuck you fuck your mother I fuck you why you fuck my bitch I fuck your mother fuck me fuck you Is that racist? <laughs> <laughs> Probably <laughs> But you can't guess where that guy's from. It could be anywhere. I fuck my bitch fuck your mother fuck me fuck you You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> no. No, you never heard like people yell at each other like that? usually two guys in the street that speak different languages. Oh, yeah. I feel like I've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Well, I'm really thankful for those 
interactions. They're so entertaining. I don't fuck my, you fuck my bitch, I fuck you. They just, keep, they just, you, you, it's, it's amazing to hear. It's like a stereotypical fight between two grown men. You know, I've, I've seen, I've seen some interactions like that just in the past couple of weeks. I, I feel like I, I just see shit like that like <laughs> so often that it is not even it's nothing it's it's it's, it's yeah no. i was at the corner store getting a juice and a lady's like let me get blade <laughs> Cut, crap i was like what the guy was like we don't have gatorade he's like he's like gatorade's over there or something and she's like no i need a blade Cut, crack. i need a cut crack it's like th- that that registers and like on my mental scale like the exact same as like oh like I saw a bird fly overhead. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just fucking. Yeah. It's part of the landscape. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yo, some, someone at the door. Sorry to interrupt you. Can I get a bottle? Uh, yeah, it's right there in front of the laptop. DJ EFX. Yo, yo, you say what's up to the camera? Yo, <laughs> that was good. Yeah, they they uh they know where to come when they when they need their their bottles open. We got we got all the all the tools of debauchery over here. I was all, gonna all I could the, open it with my teeth. I was gonna ask him if he wants me to open it with my mouth. That'd be gross though, because he's gonna drink out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been working on the song. Tell me what you think. A song. I got gotcha. you. Uh. Cut up the crap. Cut up the crap. I need a blade to cut up the crap. Not bad, huh? I like it. Yo, someone signed me already as a producer on their label. Sign this man. Yo, come on, man. That was like, that was five seconds, literally. I walked in here and I just cooked that up. Yo, have have you started uh, scoring that, that movie project yet? No, not yet. That's going to be fun. <clears throat> I'll ring it in once I have some. I have like some, they're, they're putting it together right now to get a time lock together. Oh, that, the actual movie? Yeah, they're putting all the footage together and all the audio so they could get a time lock going, and then I could go ahead and it's like a picture, a picture lock, like the, the visual. Wait, like what? Like uh, the picture, like all the film. Oh, so like I like actually finished the editing process, so everything's at the yeah, right. Exactly. Nice. Just in case they wanted to like trim scenes or anything like that, or yeah, it's gonna be sick. Uh, it's called Te Veo. And it's a story. Did I talk about this already? No. And it's a story about, it's a girl, this this girl, she, um, God, what's her name? I'm such a dick. All right. I want to, I don't know. I don't know too much. I have, I've only, I've only spoken with, uh, I've only been in like one zoo meeting with them. We went to the film and stuff, but it, it's basically, she did a movie about her father going, coming from Peru through the, through the Mexican border to the U.S. And it's like, you know, it's like a suspense story. It's a short film. I think it's going to be like 12, 15 minutes. After the shark movie, I could do anything. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because it was really long. It was like an hour 40. Oh, yeah. So, like, this is like, this is light work. Five pound dumbbell. Yeah. I hope so. I think it'll give me more time to really get in depth with it. It's fun. It's going to be a lot of suspense and shit. That's that's the novella novella suspense, Maria. Yo, I want to work with someone on an animated project. I want to be a voice actor. I could get your auditions. Yeah, I'll bro, that would be amazing. It's not easy though. I I auditioned. I didn't get it. It's probably because I mumble. I just need to find the right character. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't do different voices. I can't do accents. I just need to find a character that needs this particular voice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a smooth, a smooth voice. Um, a real <laughs> smooth voice. <laughs> Dude. Never. Uh, you're gonna lose your vision. <laughs> Seriously, bro. <laughs> no one should tug it that hard. It looks like you're hurting yourself. Oh, this one's better. This one's better. Yeah, this one's better. How about this one? I don't, I don't even need healing. <laughs> oh, this one's cool. Yeah. yeah. What's up, y'all? You wanna shake it? I've been drinking. What's up, Dark Rock? Damn. You got, you got the whole chorus of voices. Yo, right thanks. Uh, this is a, a commercial for Isotope plugins, yo. Nectar, baby. We'll, we'll tag it. Maybe it could get sponsored by them. That'd be sick. That'd be super sick. All right, enough of that. Dude, I'm ready to be monster sponsored. They're out there. I, I follow a bunch would of you people. Would you boof it if we got sponsored by Monster? Yes. Yes. I would <laughs> I would boof Monster. You Holy act- fucking shit. I wonder if someone's ever boofed Monster. Are you are you looking it up? Yeah. <laughs> Has someone <laughs> boofed monster? Yes, I'm looking this up. What exactly is boofing? Must include monster. Boofing Monster Energy Drink. It's on Reddit. I already found it. <laughs> I need more energy. Of course, so it's on I'm Reddit. Boof my monster drink. Thought this was Drug Circle Jerk for a second. I want to know how this turned out. Wait. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> no, I love Reddit. Nah, they don't really do it. Oh. Cap. Man, I wanted to see if someone actually boofed this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be really dangerous. You might have to go to the hospital or something. I don't know. That shit's crazy. I mean, people boof beers. Maybe not a whole monster. Maybe just like. Yo, does Entiman still exist? Entiman? Yeah, Entiman. What's that? They do the pound cake and the little donuts. It's the white box with the blue. Yeah, I, I see them at the grocery store. You think they have a sponsor us? So, those pound cakes are so good. Yeah, they're su- super moist. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Uh, so wet. Yeah. Uh. No, but they also have like their coffee cakes are really good. Yeah. Have you ever driven by one of those in Chicago? There was a factory by your house, and we would like drive oh. by it, bro. I would just fucking splooge. I was a little kid; like, I couldn't splooge, but I was like, I was. Yeah, it was great driving by there. Yo, you know why we don't have more sponsors? It's because we haven't actually uh, done the groundwork are you asking me to do it no i'm not i'm just no i'm literally just like i can help having like rev- revelatory thoughts right now i like to rub it out too oh um. <laughs> <laughs> wait what'd you say <laughs> um yeah because bro like you know like gary v's on that whole thing where he's like bro you should message fucking uh 60 Accounts on Instagram a day, and if one percent of them actually respond to you, yeah, I haven't DM'd anybody though. I have. <laughs> Wait, <what? coughs> why does everybody you suck good? that guy's dick? I don't care about other people. Stop caring about other people. If you fucking care about other people, you're not paying attention to yourself. I could be that guy. You see that? I just did it. <laughs> I like Gary Vee. There's, there's so much of mark. The market is huge out there. You're paying attention to other people. There's a market for your, no matter how shitty you are, there's going to be people that like you. 
I mean, that's pretty much what he says. <laughs> nailed it. And I shipped it and nailed it overseas. But yeah, it's like pretty much like. Yo, did you crucify Jesus? Because you nailed it. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you saw what I did? I went like this, and then I hit him with this. This is 100% not the worst thing we said about Jesus on this pod. Really? Oh, man. I had, I had a really good line one time. Uh, I forget how it came up. Me too. I was in the bathroom with a really hot chick. I did a great line. But I was like, you know who, uh, you know, I forget how it came up, but basically like the punchline was like, Jesus gives good hand jobs. Nice. Because, you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, and he could double it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Extra friction. Yeah. Just one, like, constantly, like, palming the balls, like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> like one on the balls and just one get that tip. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, because that's a sensitive area. D- are you circumcised? Yeah. Damn, dude. They took that shit away from us, man. They said that our foreskin was, like, you, the most. Yo, the mo- you, were, you, you were watching Sergio's reel today? No. Sergio just posted a reel on Instagram today. About what? He was like, uh, he was like, his new um, crusade is. He like he posted a reel from like I guess one of his stand-ups. Give us back our foreskins. Yeah, like that's he's like this is this is uh women's abortions for men. Okay. Oh wow. He's like foreskin awareness. Yeah, you know it's true though. You're just cutting a piece of your dick off without you and, knowing. And then like part of his bit, he was like, you know, they say, you know. 30% sensitivity you lose when they take the foreskin. So, so he's like, imagine every nut you've had in your life could have been 30% better. That's true. I bet there's a lot of power there, too. There's a reason why they do that shit. Yo, what's Sergio doing this week? Why? Is Sergio bring him on? Yeah. We need to we need a, uh, talk about this important issue. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me text him. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, but I was just thinking. Uh, I went to fucking sandbar. Like obviously, I already had a relationship there. That's also too like like it's hard doing cold calls. Um, with what? Anything. Okay. It's, it's always easier to do something when you already have a relationship, as yeah. opposed to, like doing. Yeah, yeah. Of no, course. I'm not gonna lie. There were other places that me and Hiram went to, and that they kind they flaked out. But like, bro, like, what do you have to lose? Exactly. Yeah, I just need to just gotta get back to the drawing board, and well, I would love to get, bro, like, you see where we at? I would love to get a fucking comic book store as a sponsor. That'd be sick. But we'd have to do a lot of comic work. We have, I th- maybe it's like, <laughs> I don't think is this the conversation we want to have on here? <laughs> I don't know. I just start becoming like constructive about it. I'm like, oh, maybe we uh, need to hit hit the niche harder. You know? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we, we need to get organized or something. No, right? People don't do that, right? Podcasts are just fucking riff. No. Uh, it depends <laughs> on the podcast. Like, I listen to the Workaholics Pod. Yeah. And like, I I listen to them for an hour, right? And after that hour, I have like i le- i've learned absolutely nothing <laughs> yeah like yeah, <laughs> yeah i like love this. it i love it they're so funny and this is important yeah this is important and it's just like <laughs> like they're just talking about like you know you know the, you know jerking off when they were kids and like smoking weed and shit but like they riff so good it's just it's a good podcast but it's not like okay i need to listen to, to listen to this like, oh they're gonna break down the the current topics uh, you know that it doesn't matter battle. yeah yeah it doesn't matter um which is <laughs> which is great like that, that that's why their podcast is so aptly named because it's like irony like this is important and but um yo they, they have really good sponsors like um uh yeah like tushy <laughs> that one and um it's a it's a lubricant i forget the name of the lubricant but like theirs is like with what so and so lubricant, you'll be saying lubricant. <laughs> I know, I know, like, <laughs> and I thought that was so great. Yeah, there, and then like the other sponsors, like Budweiser, and I'm like, this, this is perfect. Yeah, there's a really, they're a sponsor. 
Yeah. Holy shit. Is, is that the Budweiser or Bud Light? Same shit. Anheuser Busch. Yeah. Um. Fucking. Uh. Man, there's a paper. There's a new blunt paper rolling company that came out that like we could talk to them. Yeah. That's like it, or or anything like. We could go from like head shop, beers, energy. You know, you know, I actually reached oh, out to THC Monster products, like a dispensary. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um. Just get violently high every single pod. I will. I th- I, we, I, I don't know, because you're on the thing. You're DJing. I mean, but if they're, if they're paying us, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got no choice. Yeah, yeah. I, I shut down when I get stuff. I'm just, I, I got into this, like, comatose kind of stuff. Yo, if, if the CIA sponsors us, I'll fucking smoke their crack cocaine. Maybe there's, like, a shroom. Yo, there is. I almost got. Uh, a, a Canadian psilocybin company to sponsor us. But th- this was back... Uh, I've, they had a number in their name. I forget what it was. Because apparently there's like, you know, in Canada more, there's like, in certain states, like the so psilocybin's in like a gray area of legality. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And apparently... So this was back... Like, we're like two months into the pod. Maybe not even. Yeah, like two months. And they they were look they were in the so this is like a year ago they were looking to expand into the United States, I think like they were only in like two states at the time like shipping to and they're trying to get into more like raise awareness because they're Canadian raise awareness of their brand in the states, and because the pod is named from Shrooms to Skyrim, we had come up in a Google search, and so they sent us, uh. Allegedly, but whatever, you know, I don't get, they not, they, they didn't do it, like, they're cool, but they didn't do anything else for us. They sent us the fucking psilocybin, you know what I'm saying? Like the spores? They have, uh, they have these capsules. Oh, yeah. Um, and, like, their website and, like, their presentation, the packaging, like, everything was, like, really on point, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like it was, like. Legit. No, not legit, but you know that feeling of dealing with Apple products, like how the boxes yeah, yeah, and everything, yeah. so branding, like yeah. presentable. Like that's how their website was. That's how they fucking packages was. And yeah, me and Sean has split up because they sent us a fucking like every, a, like two samples of like every single every single thing they had. Wow. And yeah, so like there's one episode where like me and Sean were just like fucking like tripping balls <laughs> <laughs> trying to talk trying to talk to Hiram yeah and um was that a good episode yeah all right I'm <laughs> I mean you saw me I was sending you some clips the other day I was like taking a trip down memory uh, lane oh uh, yeah you yeah, saw the one yeah. with, the, with the Baltimore shit yeah, I was yeah. About the you guys are day. tripping nah not uh, like that it was it was after that <laughs> fucking dumbass but yeah so um fuck what was I gonna say uh, podcast one on one, bitch. So this you how you fucking done. do it, dude. You already know what's up. Prim, 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 prim. Is that a song she's saying? Prim. Prim, prim, prim. Oh, you mean when I? Oh, when I hear it. Prim, 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 prim. Dude, uh, come September, I I do want. Like, I want to have our, like, uh, tight butthole. You know what I'm saying? I come in August, too. What? I come in August. Oh. September. <laughs> August, September, November, December. Damn, the year's almost over. It fucking kill me already, bro. Time goes by so fast. It's, you know, like, weeks. I live in weeks now. Yeah, me too, bro. How the fuck does it? It's already 2023. What the fuck going on? I used to live in days. I live in weeks. I'm not gonna lie, I still live day to day. I mean, we all do, but <laughs> but they just fly by. You know, I I plan out my weeks at a time. Yo, it's crazy when can my sleep schedule be all over the place? So sometimes I lose a day just by sleeping. I'm just up at night, and then all of a sudden, like it's the next day. Like I didn't even get a chance to seize the day. You know what I'm saying? Carpe diem. But yeah, uh, bro, like every year since I was at military school, I've always kept track of time with a calendar I keep on the wall. And every time a day 
the the following day, I put with a sharpie. I x out the previous day. I've been doing that since. 2009, 2010, 2009, yeah. How does it make you feel when you cross that out? Uh, Accomplished? I don't feel any type of way. If I don't do that. No type of way. (laughs) No type of way. Nah, I feel like things are out of control, you know what I'm saying? It's like like when I don't keep track of it day by day, like if I get busy or if I'm just being lazy and I'm not on top of things, like I feel like I'm just like – all over the place, losing time. Like, like you're going, you're going 95, 95 miles an hour on the freeway with no hands on the wheel, type shit. Podcast one on one. Well, like I, I have like a lot of ticks that um, not ticks, but like uh, habits. And um, I got tits too. <sighs> and I got habits, tits and habits. Um, but it's like, it's, it's almost like mechanisms to, I, I guess it's for anxiety. It's when like, cause like there, there was a lot of times that I, or not a lot of times, but there were times that I was, uh, you know, like I was fucking like sleeping in the car. Or I was like, you know, play in, in between places, t- t- you know, that type of shit. And it's like, to like keep my sanity it's like when everything's out of your control, you just got to, like, hone in on the things that are in your control. So, like, it's things where it's, like, I have, like, certain things, like keys or whatever, like, they go on, like, I have them in a specific pocket. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, weird shit like that. That's, like, okay, like, these go in this pocket. And then once everything, like, like, like that, that that's why I can be, like, low-key, not anal, but I'm always, like, aware of, like, okay, like, this, you know, like, I'm always, like, okay, like, everything's got to be in its right place mm-hmm. or I can't function. What happens? Oh, all right. What happens if it's not in its right place? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I just get stressed out. <laughs> oh, really? No, oh, no, that's not good. All right. Like your, like your tech tech beanie baby over there? Your armrest? Well, this is so I don't get carpet carpal tunnel. But you still carpet DM. You feel me? Hey, hey. podcast one oh one. So yeah, it's done. <laughs> Killing it. Killing it. Uh do you wanna get tacos after this? Fuck yeah. Where are we at? Just hit 48 minutes. All right, cool. Podcast one-on-one. Show you how it's done, baby. Yeah. Uh, Yo, did you listen to the new Beyonce album? No. I did. It was all right. Her, her, her voice is so flamboyant that I, like, I can't. Like, it's just too much for me. Well, it's got that song on there. I don't know if you heard the single where it's like, You won't break my song. You won't break my soul. You haven't heard that song? Uh, I don't think we can play it. But you haven't heard it? No. I'll, pl- I'll play it for you after. It's a good song. The album was good. It's basically a dance album. Uh-huh. Like, she dropped in the same niche that Drake just dropped in, like, two months ago. Great. Which was curious. But her album got way better reaction right off the bat than Drake's album did. Drake sucks. No, I'm just kidding. You're the one. Which which I thought was I thought was interesting. Cause if not, there's gonna be some trouble. Uh that's old Drick. You like Drick? But yeah, you know you know I've I've listened to Beyonce and and I mean like gone out of my way to listen to her. She's so hot. Ever since I saw her live when I went to uh the on the run tour too. Mm-hmm. And that that's when I was in like my splurging stage, which is a whole nother story. So, bro, like I had, I had the 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 chick I was banging with me, you know, wide body. Uh, I was I was like not the front row, but I was like up there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was looking at J and B in the motherfucking eyes, type shit. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. At times. BJ? JB. Jack, um, Jack Black was Yeah, bro, it was... The concert was fucking incredible, bro. And ever since then, I've been a fucking Beyonce fan. Yeah. Because, bro, like, her performance was, you know, like... Uh, just as even uh, like aside from her music and her releases, like she's unquestionably like one of the greatest Performer. performers of all time. She get a hundred and ten percent. She goes out there hundred and ten percent every time. You know, we won the game. Let me know where he gave it hundred and ten percent. But yeah, bro, Jay Z too. Like the show was amazing. Ten out of ten, bro. It's your boy. <laughs> Sorry, that's a really bad impression. Yeah, Jay-Z. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was that was a terrible. One. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. I have no <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> I wanted to be Wee Herman. <laughs> hey, did, did we ever <laughs> talk about uh, Elon Musk's father with his stepdaughter? Did we ever talk about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all news. All right. On that note. On that note, what? Prim, 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 it was like a low key milkshake. And you know how I feel about milkshakes. It's made with rice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you like it. This is Latin culture. It's a whole new world. A fantastic place. A new world. A fantastic place. Oh man, it's hard to not sing the melody and think of the lyrics. Uh, a fantastic place you never knew. Because sure when Skyrim you're way up Matthew here, crystal clear, now you're you're in a whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> a whole new world. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so Who's that singing, Sean? Yeah. He's like. A whole new world, a whole new world. Yeah, what the fuck? Hyrule never called us. Man, nah, fuck him. Fuck him. You gonna get the pork taco? Hell yeah. The I'm gonna get, taco. I'm gonna get the pastor. I get both. I'm gonna get both. I always ball out when I go there. <laughs> <laughs> Too fire. How did you motherfucking hurt? Anal, anal glands. Say how he feels. She gets so real. She gets so real. From Shrooms to Skyrim. 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 Sky